What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cubist Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful little wife over here no, are no. bringing you guys important tips, tricks, and knowledge that will hopefully enhance, entice, and take your relationship to a whole new, positive, better level. And that's what we all want, right? We all want love and happiness. Those great songs made after this. Love and happiness, right? Like Al Green said. Oh, right. That's what we're looking for. Wow. I know. I'm, I'm old. Time stamp. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all searching for that love and happiness. But you know what? We all make mistakes. And we all have issues or things that, you know, might not have been the best on our part in our past relationships. So if you're not in a relationship, take all those mistakes. Make sure you're making up for those mistakes, right? So you don't make them in the future relationship. Now this week, we're gonna to talk to you about Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is next Tuesday, right? Yes, so, Tuesday, yeah, upcoming. Yeah, upcoming Tuesday. Yes. So, you know, it's a very big special day. I know it's a hallmark holiday, a lot of people like to call it, especially those guys out there. But it's important to your loved one, your partner, whoever it may be out there. You know, they wanna do something special with you, whatever it is, right? And that can mean a lot of different things, depending on, you know, how long you've been in a relationship with somebody. Have you guys did a Valentine's Day before? You know, what's the budget looking like? Like all these different variables are going into what you want to do for Valentine's Day. Yeah. And you want to make it a special day. And let me tell you why. Because if it's a special day and it sticks out in their mind, then at that point, they're always going to remember it. Whether they're with you or without you, you're always going to have those memories. So make sure you guys are thinking about an original concept, something that is niche to what you want to do to show your special loved one these great things and things that will stick with them. Now, this can mean a lot of different things, right? Now, before I know in my past years, I've talked about like... You can use our example. What's that? Well, what, what, what did we do on our first uh, Valentine's Day? Val no, I want to answer it. Oh, I was about to say that. was a rhetorical that. question. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, actually, it's a super cute story, and you guys know I like to share the real-life stories of me and John because we've been together forever and ever and ever and ever. So, anyways, and get, correct me if I'm wrong, I okay. believe it was at Kobe Steakhouse. Definitely. Okay, cool. And I, this sticks out to me so much because it, it's just, it's funny. So anyways, and it was cute. So Kobe's was like our place and like we would go there, you know, for special, you know, anniversaries, you know, Valentine's Day. Yep. That was our first Valentine's Day is where we went to Kobe's. Yep. Um, we love Kobe's Steakhouse, still do. Um, and then, so it, this guy, right? This guy, right? <laughs> I don't typically at the time date guys that like drove trucks, right? Because I... Don't ask any questions. Anyways, but he was driving a truck. It was an avalanche. It was an avalanche <laughs> with a 454 big block in it. So, so yeah, he was driving, you know? And he um, made like a nice little turn in there, right? And it was super adorable because he strapped in, in the passenger seat, he had strapped in my flowers. And it was just so cute because he was like in this truck and he was like, a squirrel! And then he had it like strapped in, you know? I remember. <laughs> I don't want to fall over and ruin them on the way over there. But do you see, that was literally 15 years ago. Yeah. And I still remember. Yeah. To the, like, to the T. I remember to the T. Exactly. Isn't that's that crazy? What, yeah. No, I mean, that's what we used to do, like, back in the day. I mean, I, listen, obviously, a good choice for all the gentlemen out there, or ladies, I guess, is flowers. Like, usually... Not everybody, for guys. Everybody loves flowers. Guys don't get, right? I mean, I guess you could get guys flowers. You, you don't guys typically flowers. get guys flowers. I don't think guys want flowers. But if you're in a different scenario where it's maybe two guys, there might be one that likes the flowers. Who knows, maybe. right? Yeah, you're right. So I'm not going to assume it anybody out there, right? Yeah, so at right. this point, listen, flowers are a good choice. Candies are a good choice. Chocolates. Make sure, though, you know what your partner <laughs> likes. And, you know, if this isn't your first date. Um, you're probably going to know what they like, right? If they do like candy, don't like candy, what's their favorite kind, and all that good stuff. John's is Godiva. And one year, uh, about four, 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 maybe four or five years ago, yeah. never made this mistake ever again, mm -hmm. um, decided to get the chocolates, hid them in my trunk. Bad idea. Florida. Um, and then, this, then I presented them to him. Oh, my God. It was just one big glob of chocolate yeah. in this Godiva bag and he couldn't eat it. It was so embarrassing. I think I tried to throw it in the freezer and like chop it up. But it, <laughs> it was just didn't so do it. embarrassing. I'm like, oh my god, your gift is ruined now. You can't, I 
had chocolates in the car in Florida. I don't eat chocolate. Just, so I wouldn't know. I've got, I don't eat chocolate. I hate chocolate. No, no, it doesn't go anywhere near me. I hate it. Would you leave any foods in the car in Florida? No. Okay. Okay. Point right there. <laughs> Done. We just move on. <laughs> Um, you know, in, in past episodes, because we always talk about Valentine's Day around that time, you know, we've talked about, um, you know, things you can do, right? And that's taking them out to dinner or whatever it may be. I always say picnics, and Sharice always got in my case afterwards about saying it, because she's like, ah, you always say about picnics. Well, listen, that was one thing that she always used to bring up all the time. Oh, my God, until we actually did it. I want a picnic. We actually did the picnic thing, and I was like, so, you know what? I don't know about this picnic thing anymore. You know, I yeah. kind of like the restaurant thing. You yeah. know, yeah. we'll stick with the restaurants yeah. and not the picnics. Yeah, when you start getting to picnics, you start getting it with like insects and like the outside the environment. Like, you, you know, all, so gotta, it's, gotta bring it's not stuff. the movie magic you see. You see the movie magic where they bring out this little, you know, <laughs> basket. Wooden, that wooden basket with a checkered <laughs> little. Uh, uh, cover and then you you know they start breaking out the food and, no. yeah they didn't catch you know a little snake in the left hand side or ants rolling up trying to get the food basket and everything right they didn't catch any of that no no no, no. so and I, I think you know you know for valentine's day like you know you could stay at home if you really wanted movie to movie night you know? I mean, dinner and movie are usually very typical for valentine's day right yeah i mean i listen i mean obviously mm. netflix and chill you don't want to do that right that's, that's just a common everyday thing but if you are going to stay at home, let's say you're on a budget, right? For your guys out there. Hey, okay. listen, times are tough for a lot of people out there. I understand that. So at that point, listen, money shouldn't mean everything as far as what's going to go into what you're going to do for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. If you're going to just stay home, right? You don't even got to go out and buy a card. You can literally make your own card, write your own card. And, you know, if you need help with that, listen, there's AI out there like oh Chat gosh. GPT. I know you did not. Jasper AI, just type in there. You want a really romantic if message. If you cannot put together listen, a message I want to, to help you guys out. One. Listen, there's a lot of guys out there. Oh they're my not God. romantic, right? They don't know the good words to say. He, he, you, are, you are telling people to go to an AI to get their love note. I'm saying they could put in what they think of their message, like what I want to say. And then it just it formulates it a little bit better. Yeah, you guys need to get with the program. Listen, I'm just telling. I'm, I'm just trying to help you guys out because there's this technology out there that can help you guys be it's more, more romantic, yeah. right? Maybe you know, spit out something that maybe you wouldn't say, or you wouldn't curtail in a you know a message. Your typical English garbage. Right. So at that point, you know, this could help you guys. Um, write the note, write a letter, write a poem, whatever it is. The next thing after that, cook dinner. And if you don't know how to cook dinner, find a recipe you think you can cook and cook it, or get. You know, you, no. <laughs> I mean, you could get Uber Eats. You could get Uber Eats, lay it out. Yeah. Be like, hey, listen, I got you these this pasta. I got you this wonderful bread. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful. It's laid out for you. Here's a nice little dinner. One thing you guys can do, though, and this is, gonna, this is going to change the direction, is you could actually cook with your partner, and that could be a bonding experience there, too, for your Valentine's Day. As long as you guys are not and, on your phones. you know, if you're putting in the work to cook the meal, it's, it's showing love to the person. It's like, you know, and I'm not saying buying Uber Eats does it because you've got to work to get that money to pay for it, too, as well. But it's just a little bit of a different experience. TLC, a little TLC. Um, and that's something to look at, right? <clears throat> Afterwards, you know, it's going to be romantic time. You want to do something with your partner, that's hopefully going to stimulate you guys into a <laughs> world of pleasure, right? And at this point, you want to look for some different things you guys can do. Well, one, if you guys got kids, get a babysitter. <laughs> if you don't have a babysitter, whatever it is, maybe go somewhere else. Maybe a hotel, whatever it is. Just so you guys can have some alone time, some free time, and can lower inhibitions. Yeah. But after that, you know, maybe make a bath for your, your partner that you guys can chill in, hang out with for a little bit. Um, you guys can give IOUs. So what do I mean by that? Mm -hmm. So like for different birthdays or different John's occasions. I've got a collection. I've got a collection of these. I haven't used them. I need to use them. Ah! Yeah. So you know they have expiration dates. Yeah. They're really small fine print on the right hand side of the bottom print. <laughs> we'll have to pull that out because I don't think there is. Let me see where that's so, <laughs> so with this, like, you know, you guys can write different things that you guys give to each other. So one could be like, hey, listen, a massage, right? Or whatever. It could be anything that's from gosh. PG to rated R. Whatever you guys want to do, that's fine. Write it down, give them the, the coupon, and then they can use that coupon whenever they want. That's a great gift idea. Yeah. And then it promotes you guys bonding together even more and sharing that experience, which is just going to be something more memorable to your partner. And at that point, they're like, do you remember when we did this? You want to do this when you know you're in this game, and this is a game that you guys are playing with each other because at that point, it's all about love. It's a game. It's a game. 
You gotta game make sure you're love. winning the game. The game of love, that's right. We're always winning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, if you if you think you need to get a present for your, your, your partner and you're okay with that, that's okay too. John is not helping you females out there. All right, so guys, Listen, underwear, great idea. Socks, great. Especially when you've been married for so long. You say long. underwear and socks? And listen, relax. I'm saying these these are very typical gifts that you give to the guy after being married for so long. Now, it's a, and socks? it's a great gift to give. However, it's not an exciting gift, right? So you might want to stay away from the underwear and socks. Believe it or not, lots of people receive underwear and socks for Valentine's Day. Get out of it's here. It's very common. Like, it's very common. What? So you should find out, you know, what they, what kind of chocolate they like, you know, maybe get them something that's meaningful, whatever it might be. I mean, for a guy, it's a little bit harder, right? I mean, I guess you could go and get them an actual gift, right? Like, if they like shoes, you can get them some shoes. If, you, if they like belts, you know, whatever, shirts, they want a specific hat. They saw something in the mall when you guys were walking by, mentioned it. You know, it's cool if they're in a typical discussion and they mention something and then it all of a sudden just shows up. Mm -hmm. It means that you were actually listening. Yes. So it's kind of cool if you do something like that, right? Yeah. But, you know, guys' gifts are a little harder than females because we just get flowers and a couple other little things, teddy bears and stuff, and you guys are good to go. I mean, you guys, well, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, that's a lot, right? I, mean, I guess it's nothing to you. But. Hey, I said it's not to me. I'm saying it's, it's simple. You guys are hard guys to shop are hard. for. Females are a lot harder, trust me. You're always having to predict what they want and are they going to be happy with it, right? So listen, guys, we appreciate you guys tuning in every Sunday to Cupid's Corner. This Valentine's edition for you guys. Take these tips, tricks, and this knowledge, apply it to your relationship or your future relationship so you have a successful relationship for a long, long time. So we appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll be back next Sunday for another Cupid's Quarter, 11 a.m. on ABC. Don't forget your sexy pigtails. <laughs>